Never been, pal. Meg sobs as Oprah snubs her to pose pic with Gail King in National Best Friends Day. It seems that all of her relationships are fake, when recently, on the anniversary of their friendship, Megan was ignored by her only Hollywood friend, Oprah, and posted congrats to Gail King, who seems to have personality. Her dislike has turned many friends away. There are few relationships as special as best friends. That unique bond is an integral part of the human experience. Best friends enrich lives and, for many, save them as well. Best friends are so important that in 1935, the U.S. Congress decided to celebrate the bond between BFFs every June 8th, National Best Friend Day on June 8th. Since then, National Best Friends Day has encouraged people around the world to spend time with their bestie and tell them they love them. To honor the holiday, we put together a list of our favorite celebrity BFFs. Oprah Winfrey and Gail King have been thick as thieves for over four decades now, meeting in 1976 while working at a Baltimore TV station. Over the years, the pair have given fans an intimate look into their friendship via multiple interviews and TV specials. What's the key to their lifelong relationship? They say a lack of jealousy in an instant connection is what keeps them close. I understand why people think we're gay, the, day the daytime TV icon said once on Oprah. There isn't a definition in our culture for this kind of bond between women, so I get why people have to label it. How can you be this close without it being sexual? How else can you explain a level of intimacy where someone always loves you, always respects you and admires you, wants to be the best for you in every single situation for your life, lifts you up, supports you, always? That's an incredibly rare thing between even the closest of friends. As they keep dwelling on their decisions to attend the King's coronation, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have apparently distanced themselves from Oprah Winfrey. Those who can recall, she was one who offered them a space for an explosive interview that was seen by millions. During that occasion, Meghan Markle revealed the psychological abuse she felt from senior members of the royal family. Eventually, tensions grew higher and Prince Harry decided to leave his hometown in order to continue his family life with Meghan and their children. Currently, the couple live in Montecito with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. One would think that Oprah Winfrey would remain close to the couple, but the television personality recently made some startling revelations. During a sit-down with Gail King, she was asked whether Meghan and Harry should attend the King's coronation. Oprah was politically correct with her response, but she did leave a small nugget that could be interpreted as anger towards the couple. Although Oprah advised them to do what they feel is the best option, she also stated they haven't approached her for any type of advice in private. We gotta say, she sounds a tad salty at the end of that clip from CBS's Morning. Initially, she sounded logical with her response to Gail King's question, but that last bit was interesting. Could that prove that Oprah Winfrey doesn't speak to any of them anymore on a regular basis? That decision to attend the coronation does seem like it should be carefully analyzed and made within their own household. No external advice should be heard from anybody. That's what Oprah said. Quote, I think they should do what they feel is best for them and for their family. That's what I think. That's the bottom line. It comes down to, what do you feel like is the best thing for you? They haven't asked me my opinion.